Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite ASMRist. There won't be any NFSW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Welcome home, listener. How's school? Hmm, just meh. Like always. <laughs> huh? Is Dad home? No. He'll be home in an hour. But I heard he'll be taking us out to a nice family outing. How fun, right? Sweetie, why do you sound so down? And why are you covering your face? You never do that. Mm. Now come on, let Mama Bean see her baby bean's beautiful eyes. Uh huh? Why not? Sweetie, the only way to talk to me is eye contact. And I can't talk to you while your hair is in the way. Come on, don't be a little... <gasps> L Listener? What's the matter? W were you crying? Oh, sweetie, don't cry, please, don't... <sighs> Shh, come here, come here. It's okay. Shh, come to mommy. <sighs> Little Susie's sleeping. I don't want you to wake her up. Shh, it's okay. Mommy's here. Shh, it's okay. Come on, let's watch your face. Go ahead and take off your backpack and I'll come back with a washcloth and warm water, okay? Mm, okay, I'll be there in a second. I'm back. And I'm sorry if the water is gonna feel hot. I swear the faucet doesn't know what warm really means. <laughs> Okay, look up, please. Move your hair to the side, please. Thank you. Why were you crying, sweetie? Did something happen at school that made you cry? I won't be mad if you answer. Sweetie, me and your father know you're bad at lying. Because you're looking to the side. And when you stutter. Like I said, I won't be mad if you tell me the truth. Now go on. Tell me. Oh. I see. A group of kids picked fun over your... Wait, what? They even took your lunch money? And called you 
Oh my goodness. Oh, sweetie. Why didn't you tell me or the school about this? Oh, my goodness. Let's wait until your father comes home and explain. Darling, I'm home. Oh, he's early? Don't worry, he won't be mad at you. I'll make sure of that. Aw, oh, there you are. Hiding from me. Hi, honey. Welcome home. They've given you an early release? Yeah, which means some family time with my beautiful family. That promotion was worth it. That's wonderful, darling. Anyways, what's going on in here? Well, listener, care to tell your father what happened in school? Huh? Did something happen in school, kiddo? Go on, don't be scared. Yeah. It's not like I'm gonna shout at you. Why should I? Wait, what? I see. A group of kids pick on you and call you names. Oh. I always knew this was gonna happen. Wait, what? And they took your money too? Why didn't you do anything about it? Darling... Chill. Babe, I know you don't want our child to be crude, but it's sometimes okay for them to push them away and say no. Gotta have some tough skin for once. I know, I know. I just don't want them to get into fights. Sometimes there's always a purpose. Listener, tell me, was it those same kids that ruin your art project? The ones that ruined your Halloween costume. And the same kids who took your lunch your mother made for you. <clears throat> Did you tell your principal about this? Or a counselor? What? what? They didn't do anything about it? Well, I'm heading down there and get them to talk. Sweetie, not today. Let's do that tomorrow. And plus, listener has a field trip to a museum on Friday. Oh, you're right. Plus, you did promise a family outing. I'm just frustrated about the school. Not doing a thing about these kids picking on others. It's like they were bullies too. You don't know that. Well, I think they were. I'll go on Friday when the students are out. I'll come with you, so you won't... snap. Thank you, love. Listener, starting next week, I'll teach you how to toughen up. Raise your voice up. I want to hear your roar. Teaching you to say no when, if they keep asking for it, you gotta tell them that no means no. And sweetie... What they said about you is not true. You are beautiful slash handsome. You have such a wonderful heart and a creative mindset. Don't let them push you down in misery. And plus, I like to say this. They could be just jealous that you have a gift and a good taste in anything. And they have nothing to do in their spare time, thinking picking on the gifted will make them feel better about themselves. That's right. Sometimes. It's always for fun or just spoiled rich kids. And that too. You always have us, listener. We speak the truth. Don't listen to them because we love you very much. Oh, of course. Come here. <laughs> You're very welcome, baby bean. Well now, that situation is done. Let's get a change and I'll let you choose a place to eat, okay? Alright then. Come on, dear. Let's go change. Okay. Be ready in 30 minutes, okay, listener?
<laughs> See you downstairs. <laughs> and Kurapika, it's your turn to change Susie. Really? I just got home. But you promise, just this once. Please. Okay, okay, fine. Gotta have my girls glowing. <laughs> Thank you, Papa Bean. Hiya Beans, it's Ali, and I wanted to thank you all for listening to this ASMR special. And I wanted to give a big shout out to Kalda Johan for his performance as Papa Bean for this ASMR. Please go check out his channel, he really does really good um, Hunter Hunter related ASMRs. And again, thank you so much Johan for the collab, it really means a lot to me. I hope we get to do more ASMRs again. <laughs> So, um, yes, I am also going through another one-week hiatus, and it's for personal reasons, and I will see you all around the 21st or the 22nd. So yeah, that's about it. Um, like if you enjoyed this, comment down below your opinions, and subscribe for more. Happy Valentine's Day, little beans! <laughs>